Hi, welcome back and hello to new viewers. My name is Laura Bailey and I'm a senior lecturer in English Language and Linguistics at the University of Kent. I'm making this series of videos about getting ready to come and study with us. I will tell you a little bit about what I'm up to. I'll give you some of my top tips. You can see my previous videos in my channel and of course you can like and subscribe. So what have I been up to this week? Well, you might remember that at the start of summer I talked about planning my time, breaking down tasks. I took my own advice and worked out what I had to get done over the summer, broke those big things down into smaller tasks and then made myself a massive project plan. I would normally do this on paper, but this year I'm using one of the many billions of project management apps that there are out there just for a change. It can be a procrastination tool for me, setting up new productivity apps, so I do need to be aware of that tendency in myself and find the balance. And I also took my own advice about planning out my week. Some people like to have one clear day for doing deep thinking work or writing, but that doesn't work for me. It takes me too long to get back into what I was doing and I lose focus. I found that I get much more done if I schedule that stuff in for much shorter, more frequent time slots. Half an hour every day is perfect. Then I find that if it's going well, I can do much more than half an hour. But if not, I've at least spent that 30 minutes doing something to it and incrementally advance the writing task. This week, those little writing sessions have added up to some nice progress on my article. Finding out what works for you is a good idea. And obviously it's best if you do it early on. I think there's sort of a typical idea of students doing their work by spending long sessions in the library. I know for sure that some people do that, um, especially if they've got no choice because they left their essay till the last minute. But I think we need to get away from that as being the norm. It's definitely not the only way to study and it's probably not the best way. There's lots of pseudoscience about learning styles out there, so you need to be a bit critical about what you read. But if you get a study skills book like the um, Cottrell one that I recommended in my first video, um, you, can, you can think about how you learn best. Um, if we take lecture notes as an example, I always recommend not trying to write down every word the lecturer says because you haven't had to think. If you summarise instead and put it in your own words, you've already had to do half the work of internalising it and understanding it. But I know that some people swear by just getting it all down and then rewriting their notes later. It works for them. Or if we take writing essays, like me, are you best doing little and often or are you better at one long marathon? And are you producing your best work that way? Lots of people will say that they do their best work when they're up against a deadline. But remember that this means you probably won't have time to edit and revise your essay. You would probably do better if you started sooner, but you haven't given yourself the chance to find out. This kind of claim is often a result of imposter syndrome, by the way, so it's worth looking into that if you find yourself saying this. All this is easier said than done, but you can at least give yourself a head start by thinking about it. And your own circumstances will be important here, but you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Example one, let's say you're ADHD. So you might know that long sessions in the library aren't possible for you, or you might know that it's the only way you'll get the work done in one hyper-focused session. Either way, Google is your friend here. <laughs> Lots of people before you have written about their own student experiences and talked about the things that they found worked for them and how they navigated their way through uni. Example two, let's say you live an hour's ride on the bus from campus and you have to read a chapter of the textbook for the seminar, but you can't read on the bus because it makes you feel sick. You can download an audio version of the chapter instead and listen to it on the bus or at your job or in the gym or whatever, it's your life. Example three, let's say you find it hard to overcome writer's block or you're dyslexic or for whatever reason you can say what you think, but you can't write it. So just speak into your phone and use the transcribing option to get your thoughts on paper and then edit them from there. None of this is cheating or not doing it right just because you're not sitting with dusty books and a quill pen. The best thing you can do for yourself is to find out what works for you and allow yourself to succeed. So that's my tip for this week. If you want to find me on Twitter, I'm Linguist Laura. I also have a blog about language at um, linguistlaura.blogspot.com. You can find our department at Kent ELL yeah on Twitter and Instagram, and we also have a Facebook page. And of course, you can go to kent.ac.uk for lots more information about studying at Kent and our department. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. Bye for now.